What's going on guys? My name is James Collects and I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. Today we have the 11th out of the 12 Fallout boxes, but this is obviously the last box that I'm doing for the second to last box of the series. Bearing in mind, it is currently mid-February, well mid to late February now, and this box is from August 2019. So to be honest, I'm just amazed that it actually bloody come because I've got a half-built Liberty Prime on my shelf. It's missing an arm and it's doing my bloody head in. Now, I bought a three-month, well, a three-lot subscription, so a six-months worth of boxes for the Fallout Crate. It's going back, it would have been before June uh, 2019. They had a promotion on where it was half price or something ridiculous. Now these boxes started off to be really, really good. Um, I think the very first Fallout hood, uh, box we got, it had a Tunnel Snakes hoodie. And then it went downhill over the period of like two years to the point where, as it is now, this is going to be absolute... Not very good. So this, this box, this tiny box here, this box which is... I could almost get my hand to go from one side to the other is 39 bloody pounds. So whether it's going to be worth 39 pounds, you know what? I'm fairly confident it's not going to be. So when you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Oh, look, look, it's, it's another bloody replica item. We've not got any of those, have we? Genuinely so disappointed because as I say, when this box first came out, it was really, really good. The figures were, I mean, we've got forks from Fallout 3. I mean, this is what we used to get as a figure. This is what we now get. The difference is astronomical. <sighs> How times have changed, eh? So our first item is an Experiment 18A replica and I've lost my poxy knife. I would say I'll just go home, but I already am. Although to be fair, a part of me is just glad that this box is over. I'm owed one more loot crate box, which is a Rick and Morty crate, which at this rate, I should get it by 2022. I mean, the, the replica stuff is nice. I don't think we've actually had this one before. No, we haven't. I mean, it is nice, but if you compare like the forks, hang on, I'll show you one second. See that shelf there? Right, this 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 lot here, they used to be. Raphael's having a number two, by the way. Um, the, the Fallout stuff in there was at one point really really good, and it's it's now just down to replicas, which is it's just disappointing and it's annoying because the quality used to be so much better. So that is the replica. Uh, it's worth about a tenner, although Luke Crate will try to tell me that it's worth about 25, 30 pounds, which it is not. We've got a thank you for being a looter thing. So you put in that barcode, QR code, and there's a website and it tells you what you got because they, they don't do cheat sheets anymore. Okay, next up is a Fallout 76. Uh, probably going to be pins, I would have thought. Oh. Yeah, um, Savage Divide, they oh, they feel incredibly cheap and tacky. And Reclamation Day 2102. I mean, they are official Bethesda, but um, if you were to look at the, the pins that we got, it might have been a loot gaming box years ago. It's way before I was, uh, I even played Fallout. The quality difference between the pins and those, again, it's a million miles away. And then uh, the the actual little pin itself. So this is Energize Chase version. The normal version is where the you know, black and gold colors are just inverted. And um, yeah, I'm just glad it's over. And we've got a check key set. Checkery, check, is that a K? Is that an R? What on earth? I don't know. How does this thing? What is it? I thought it was a checkers set, which, I mean, I'd rather, I'm just trying to think of what else they could have done other than what they've done for this box. I mean, you could literally just put anything else in these boxes and it would have been acceptable. 
if this is what I think it is, it may be a saving grace. Okay. That's not what I was expecting. I was hoping for like, is it Blast Radius they have in the Fallout games? I was kind of hoping for that. But it's, <laughs> it's obviously not. Although I do quite like that the, the, the chips, the checkers, checks, what are they? Counters, counters, they're counters. So you've got Nuka-Cola on one side and then the other ones are uh, Nuka-Cola Quantum, which features quite heavily in Fallout 76. Uh, I mean, there's no Fallout-ness on the checker section itself which is annoying i mean that just looks like a regular chess set um that's really disappointing it really is it's there's just no thought that's gone into it at all it's such a shame because uh, go back and watch the older boxes and and you'll see exactly what i'm talking about value wise I reckon a tenner is being extremely generous. So we go for, for £10 on the checkers. Patches, £2. Pin, £3. So that's 15 uh, Another tenner for the replica. So that's 25 This box costs us £39. There's, there's no item to wear. I mean, the box is quite nice. You've got the replica item there. Ha. <sighs> Can you tell I've lost interest with this box? It's just, it's just freaking terrible. Now, Fallout Crate is back open and active again. Uh, the the first uh, theme is Picnic. I, I think until, uh, until I know what's going on with Loot Crate, they are getting no more money out of me. I mean, I gave them the benefit of the doubt beforehand and as i say this crate has progressively got worse over time um i can't get this bloody arm in there we go I, yes the liberty prime figure is awesome it's the only reason why it's worth getting all the crates other than that they're not worth the individual price of 39 pounds not by any stretch uh how they got away with charging people that amount uh is daylight robbery in my opinion but yeah, it looks quite cool. It's a shame it took 16 months to, to, for it to get here in six different parts. Um, yeah, it, it was once a good box. Now, it is not. Uh, if for some bizarre reason you want to pick up one of these boxes, there will be an affiliate link down in the description below. However, I would stipulate to absolutely every single person watching, don't wait and find out what on earth is going on with loot crate they've been taken over recently find out what direction these crates are going in find out if they're going to be re-releasing old stock which they have been doing for the last six to eight months find out what on earth this company is doing and then decide whether you want to whether they're worth you spending your money on um for me personally there's a lot of other better value for money boxes out there which i'll hopefully be doing more of this year which i think is mainly going to be the root box um as it stands i think out of all the ones that are out there they are probably the, the best ones for geeky stuff um and then obviously you got the lutaku stuff but that's very anime orientated but yeah that is this box as i say if you're if you've won a lottery recently and you you feel like splashing out on some needless nerdy crap then yeah, click the link below and order through there. Uh, that is it from me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.